Japanese guy who's lived down there forever. Yeah, well, so you can like swim out the channel and then there's almost like three tiers and like the far tier is where there's, it's like full of like big round corals and yeah, it's so rich up there. <laughs> So this one was fun to make. A whole bunch of people stopped and helped throughout the day. And the thing I love about this form is that anybody can do it. So I had help from alcoholics and drug addicts. I had help from children and parents, elderly people. Anyone and everyone can pretty much assist with this project. And so this one here has been up, I'd say, for uh, maybe like six months. And as you can see, it's aging very, very well. You can see some of the hand stitches, you know, that I put in. So up close it does show that it was done by hand, but it's actually weathered beautifully. So I'm really happy with how well it holds up in the sun, the rain, the hurricanes, and what have you. So what's involved with making these? So they're made out of sheets. So it's all from our transfer station or our dump. And I go and I collect preferably king size sheets because they rip the longest. But I basically just rip them into like um, four to six inch strips. And then I stitch this, this the strips together. And you don't have to, but it makes it a lot easier. And then I just weave it through. So I actually hand sew on some areas. Like when I start, I usually do hand stitches here. And then the rest of it is all just woven through. is actually the second biggest um, like trash craft that the planet has right now. 